If you catch COVID-19, say you're fine, you're asymptomatic, or even if you're minimally symptomatic, but suppose you give it to your mother or your father or your wife or your children, and they go on to die. Would you be okay with that? I feel that that is the way to go is to get this injection. I've had two first cousins that died of COVID about three weeks ago, husband and wife, three days apart, and uh, had a funeral at the same time. And I don't want to see that for anybody. The concerns that people have brought to me I always say they're coming out too fast. They I say, well, we're in the middle of a pandemic with thousands of people dying a day. How long do you want them to take to, to come up with this? They brought out Tuskegee. Tuskegee was an experimentation uh, in the South, looking at men who already had syphilis and was trying to look at long-term effects and they were withholding treatment. They weren't giving them treatment. If the goal is to kill black people, don't give you the shot. Let you go ahead and get COVID and die that way. When I had my shot, I didn't walk into a room and they say, okay, black people go on this side of the room, white people go on this side of the room and we're gonna give you two separate injections. Everybody that was there wanted to get those shot and they were willing to give it. It's really not designed to hurt you, kill you, maim you, any of this, to protect you. And that's all that this is. So I tell people all the time, do not misinterpret what we're trying to do. You will not get COVID from this injection. I wanna make sure people are clear about that. It's not designed to do that. What it's designed to do is to, is to rev up your immune system so that if you are exposed to COVID, it will attack and prevent. And that's really what this is all about. I've also heard that I, I wanna wait and see. I say, well, don't wait and see after you get it and die.